Hello everyone and welcome. Today we're going to make a Greek dish of giant butter beans in tomato sauce. This version is one of the more simpler versions. I'm going to share another version with you next week, but I thought we would start with a simple one this week. Add two 400 gram tins of butter beans to your pan. I'm using organic butter beans. If you want to use dried beans, you can, but I think this is easier and it tastes just as good. Then add a 400 gram tin of tomatoes. If your tomatoes are watery, you might want to add some tomato puree to thicken them. I didn't on this occasion. Then two diced onions. I'm using red, but you can use white if you prefer. And two garlic cloves. Then add five tablespoons of dill and give that a mix together. Add 60 millilitres of olive oil, a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of pepper, a half a teaspoon of cinnamon and then some water to cover the beans. Give that a mix together and I forgot to add some lemon juice, so add the juice of half a lemon. Bring that to a boil on low heat for 30 minutes and cover it with a lid. After 30 minutes, remove the lid and continue cooking for another 30 minutes. You can see there's still a lot of water at that point. After the 30 minutes, it's gone nice and thick, which is how I like it. If you want a bit more liquid, you can turn it off the heat before, but for me, this is perfect. Then add a little bit more dill. This will just give it a nice pop at the end and stir that through. Then put the lid on and set aside for 10 minutes. This is the final result. The beans have got thicker, um, well, the sauce has got thicker, which is what I like. There's hardly any water coming out of it. These are absolutely delicious. Um, you can serve these as a meal on its own with some salad and some bread. And if you're not vegan, you can serve it with some feta cheese, which really does give it that finishing touch. These are also lovely the next day as leftovers on toast. You can put them over a jacket potato. They go lovely with um, salmon or chicken. I hope you enjoy this recipe and I will see you next time.